Toes, baby, you think a little too small I got big goals, baby, ain't hey, where the money at Look, I just need the info, pronto I go and get it and split it with my kid for a And I'm the type of that might change my number All right, so happy 4th of July. I know what already happened. Today is Tuesday, and welcome back. This just happened to uh, be our new shed. It is kind of our unit. We is ended up accumulating so many random freaking toys and none of them are daily drivers, except that one, which we'll get into. But uh, yeah, we just didn't know where to put all this stuff. It was all scattered. Some was in like Breckenridge, some was at my dad's shop, some was at my mom's house, some was just laying in the field. So uh, we just decided we got them all together and we're gonna run through. For those of you that uh, are new to the channel, welcome aboard, hit subscribe. Those of you here, maybe you haven't seen them all. So. This is a 2022. It is Patrick's sole pride possession of the Toyota Supra. Can't tell you much about it because I know nothing about these cars, but I can tell you it's actually pretty sick. I'm super impressed with it. And, uh,. Basically what we need you guys to do is tell us, are we keeping this car or is Pat ditching it for something else? Because we kind of just went out on a whim and thought it was super sick. And if you guys like it enough, we'll do like a full build with this thing. But otherwise, yeah, it is uh, just a Supra. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. Anything you want to say about your car, like real quick? Yeah, here, hold this, hold this. Yeah. Tell us about this, Pat, this what's in there? is a three liter Twin scroll turbocharged inline six cylinder Toyota motor. It's not a Toyota motor, this is a BMW motor. This is the exact same motor this in a Z4. So when we got this car, everybody's like, oh, it's a nice BMW. I'm like, yeah, it is a BMW and it's sick. So it says Supra. Right there. So it is in fact a Toyota, despite what all you people think. Crack this open. So if you go on the inside, this is literally a BMW Z4, identical. It's the same shifters. It's the same these thingies, same thing, lock buttons, same thing, seats like infotainment, whole thing is BMW. Yeah. However, it is a Toyota Supra, which is dope. I, I think the thing Supra. that gave it away for me is it's a two seater. That's how I knew. That <laughs> oh, was, yeah. dude. Let us know what you want us to do to this thing. Like, do you want Pat to build it? Do you want him to get a bunch of parts? Do you want him to nuke this thing? Or do you want us to just Whatever, drive it for a while and get a Suburban again. This is super unusual for me. I've had four Suburbans since 2005. So I've only ever driven a car that fits eight people in it. And so to switch to a car that fits two people and essentially like not even big enough for golf clubs, uh, it's a pretty big deal. So I'm having to relearn how to live my life basically in this new car. It's pretty challenging, but it's pretty Yeah, big. his house was downsized. Yeah, not to mention I lived in that Suburban. I cannot live in this car. <laughs> you can maybe sleep in it pretty uncomfortably, but Suburban, like you get in the back, you bring your friends over, you eat some spaghettis. It sounds pretty, pretty good, good, and every once in a while you get like a couple of good burbles, so I think for like a stock exhaust, it sounds pretty good. See, like that was a good one. That was a really good like, one. Most of the time it doesn't sound like that. Most of the time it sounds like a shot back once you get high in the RPMs, which is why I need to It needs exhaust, wings, tires, rims, skirts, new motor. Wide body wide turbo. Body. Yeah, so it's pretty much a piece of shit. All right, here we go. Moving right along. And this is our, uh, this is our sling dinger. So how we went about this, for those of you who know, we actually were doing a giveaway with this and a ranger. I love the comments. I could have swore you gave away that slingshot like a month ago or something. No, we didn't. They picked the ranger. So we're just not obvious that we still have this, like it's here. So we're gonna drive the shit out of it because it's super fun. And uh, it's actually for sale. So if anybody of you want to buy it, we uh, the giveaway's over and uh, we're selling this thing. You can have it. You can come get it, give us some money and you can take it. But otherwise, uh, this thing is a black. So, when we got it, the guy basically just put headers on it and that is it. Otherwise, it's a stock machine and it's a, it's a five-speed manual. It's super fast. Yeah, if you get a player slingshot, get like 65 extra back tires. One thing I thought was super sick, dude, the hood opens like a Batmobile. 
It's like a Batmobile. And also, for those of you who don't know, this is just a car motor. This is a GM motor. It is a 2.3 liter, 1.8 liter. I, I really don't know. They're honestly quite bulletproof. I don't know why players switched them over to like a player's motor, because these are way better. But yeah, this is for sale. Not much to it. Uh, it's kind of just our late cruiser. When we want to go get burritos and stuff. was a vacuum cleaner, I bet it would clean the shit out of whatever you're vacuuming up. We were very surprised. This thing can do a burnout, a drift, whatever you want it to do for however long you want. We have like unlimited footage of that and we can play all of that right now. We literally just discovered on accident, I went to turn around and I cracked the throttle and the SN flew like way out. So then I turned traction control all the way off. And as you can see from these marks over here, it does fat burnings. All right, get in. We got this, Pat. A dumpster missile. The yeah, well, well, where was the whole story behind this? Uh, I desperately wanted an S10, yes. and we didn't have one, and so... We got one. Back in the day, I had a uh, jet boat that had like a big block in it. It was super sick, it was fast, but honestly, it was kind of sketchy. And uh, I told the guys all the problems with it, but if you could like mix up the plugs wrong, you would like take on water and sink. Like me and Pat went into DL one time, and we turned around, the whole back's just loaded up with water. So we just had to haul back home. But yeah, those of you don't know, this thing is LS swap. You can just get it right there. This thing is LS swap, it's an LQ9. I always got roasted in the comments. I said LS9, yeah, I know the LS9 is a supercharged motor. It comes in the ZR1, all you guys can pound sand. All right, this is a truck motor. But it is super sick and it's pushing like 430 wheel horse and it's got a two step and it does not sound like a lawnmower. It, it, or a vacuum, whatever. It, it sounds really pretty. Good. This is your like fuel pump switch right here. You can hear it. Yeah, and then it's your two step switch. And then, yeah, so it's got a full-on race wheel, racing seats. Uh, it's got like a power glide shifter, but it's not quite a power glide. I don't, it's just like an automatic, but you manually shift it. Otherwise, it's got some aftermarket gauges, but the rest is pretty stock, so I don't know. It's a sleeper. Probably the most overpowered little tiny pickup ever. And this is also for sale. We are uh, kind of cleaning out inventory because um, What's going on here? There. Um, yeah, this is for sale. It's <laughs> mint. It is so sick. It is treated very well. Oil changes all the time. It's not burn oil. Uh, the only thing that gets abused is a hood. It doesn't shut very well. But yeah, honestly, this thing can whip sh** do burnouts. It is like the ultimate ride, and I'm selling it 6500 bucks. Anyone that wants it, go down in the comments. Put your, like, Instagram handle down there, and uh, yeah, I'll DM you. Moving on to the next car. See, lately I've been feeling like the P.E. logo in the crosshair scope because of my promos. But really, it's because of my dope shows. Even haters admit it. Nitro got dope flow. You know what I heard through the grapevine is down like...
Uh, <laughs> yeah, so when we got this, uh, my buddy Connor had an other buddy named Riley, and he had this thing, and he's actually not the one that built the cage. But Pat saw it on Facebook Marketplace, and we ended up being friends with the people beforehand, and we didn't even know that we knew them. Anyways, this thing turned out to be a blast. We didn't realize it could like drift. It was like the ultimate go-kart with a car motor, pretty much. It was super light and one day we're like, how crazy would it be when we put the tracks on this thing, we had these 35s laying around, we're like, wouldn't it be sweet to have like the Miata on 35s because it looked like an RC car driving around, which we have a video, I think it's on my Instagram we could plug in. I'm like hauling ass through the snow and it just looks like a giant RC car mobbing around. <laughs> this was gonna work we had to buy I think what was it uh, over fifteen hundred or twelve hundred dollars in spacers mm -hmm. and because uh, we just kept having to widen and widen and widen and widen and widen and we didn't want to go the route of going like taller and now thinking about it taller in it excuse me extend oh, a tightening it lifting lifting there it is lifting lifting would have probably been the better option but I think it kind of looks sick. Not much of a turning radius. We had to take a hammer and pound in the fenders like big time. Otherwise, yeah, it is, uh, it's super sweet. It worked way better than we thought it was gonna. Like you almost cannot get stuck. We mobbed through drifts, snow piles, you name it. It was like probably the most mind blowing thing ever. We did not think it was gonna work and it turned out to be one of like our greatest videos ever because this thing was like a huge success. Um, it does have a uh, burble tune on it, which is pretty sweet. And it's just header pipe straight out the bottom and it shoots massive, massive flames. I can probably go get the jumper pack and start this. Yep. All right. Also, this is for sale too, with or without the tires. You let me know, price negotiable. probably only like 100 horse but it sounds like you're going 200 miles an hour when you're driving it around anything special you got to say about the miata pad it's got a nos yeah oh i forgot about that it does have nos and it is hooked up check this out ready listen We cranked it wide open, and I don't even know if the clutch could handle it because it didn't even move forward, but the thing revved to like 15,000 RPM, and we thought we instantly grenaded it. Nothing happened, so we did it maybe five, six more times, and uh, the car still runs just fine. Doesn't even burn oil. I've driven it all the way to town and back, and it eats it up. Moving on to uh, the last vehicle that is in here physically. No, we have two more physical vehicles in here. Uh, moving into the last vehicle that is here physically. This is hands down my favorite build that we've ever done ever. This was the greatest decision we've ever made. I would sell my house for this thing. Uh, this is a supercharged Gen 1 Raptor on Dominator tracks and this thing can't get stuck. We've only gotten stuck one time, uh, and it was when we were trying to go save Ryan's TRX. Oh! 
we have a bunch of videos of that but if you look at this picture like we were framed like up to here and uh like up to the rails and it took a lot to get this thing out i think we had like two broncos out there a pickup and a skid steer and pat shoveled for like two hours when it was like negative 10 during a blizzard but this thing has gotten more vehicles unstuck than i'd say probably any pickup in the entire Cormorant area times two. It's probably the loudest vehicle we own. Rest in peace headphone users. I don't even know if the mic will pick it up, but uh, I'll show you under the hood and then I'll start it so everyone's ears are okay. Yeah, so we have the two point, I think it's a 2.9 liter Roush charger or uh, supercharger. And then uh, this did get a brand new crate motor right before I bought it from my dad. My dad blew it up and now I think it's only got like 30,000 miles on it. But uh, yeah, we just got it re dynoed I do have a video of that. We can dub it in here. And uh, it made like 535 wheel horsepower. And now I do not know what that converts to track. But uh, yeah, it's a lot. It basically just spins the track. But it is no shortage of power. All right, you ready to blow your eardrums out? Cover your ears, kid! and it is just straight piped off those headers. And it is, you can hear this thing miles away. But it's awesome for rescue missions because we have like strobes and light bars and stuff. And you can always know where this thing is. If you can't see the lights, you'll definitely be able to hear it. Anyways, I have no idea how we acquired this car. There's only maybe 10 in the world. And uh, quite frankly, we're probably gonna end up selling this thing. The Lamborghini Veneno, okay? Um, the doors do in fact open. They do have the butterfly doors. Um, all right, watch the zero to 60 on this thing. <laughs> Moving along, this thing right here, uh, it is up at RM right now. Um, we have some footage explaining what's going on. hate to say it, but uh, really don't think the people who tuned it last time had any idea what they were doing or got getting into, which kind of sucks. So we had to uh, buy a bunch of parts. Uh, we checked it out. The motor's fine. It's super healthy, but we're just buying some additional parts to uh, the supporting components to running a pro charger and stuff, such as injectors and correct fuel systems and stuff like that. But uh, we're converting it back to pump gas just because it's more convenient, whatever, and people can't drive car long distance on E85. And right now we're swapping it so it's got like a 2000 rpm rev limiter and 20 percent more fuel and all like the mapping and stuff so it doesn't hurt itself and uh yeah that is the outcome of making sure the motor doesn't blow up it runs like absolute piss but basically this is our giveaway car for those of you that are new here we are giving this thing away all you got to do is buy merch and you get entered this is a car i'm driving around right now and uh yeah, Mustangs have a soft place in my heart. This is probably one of the coolest Mustangs ever. It's got a full carbon fiber hood. It's got maybe the most obnoxious blow up valve you've ever seen. It's got a P1SC Pro Charger, uh, full headers straight out the back. Uh, this thing is no joke. It's pretty nasty. And uh, we basically put in a lot of work and some more money into this thing to make it the sickest and most baddest giveaway car ever. Uh, we have some horny videos of this thing that we can play right now. Oh, down here. That's our giveaway car. The next car that is missing, we do not know where he went. Uh, this is our Uncle Tony's S550, aka the Hauko Gear Mustang. Um, <laughs> They 
after we went and picked this thing up. We haven't seen them since, but this car is freaking fast. So this has the biggest Roush supercharger that they make on it. It, uh, I did not think it was gonna be that fast, and I hate to say it, it may be faster in the giveaway car. So we are definitely gonna have to line those up next video. Let us know if you guys want us to do anything to this car. It is a blast. It's a 2019, it's got 10,000 miles on it, and uh, it's on pump gas making like 750 wheel horse, which makes absolutely no baloney sense. Happy 4th of July, everyone. I um, hope everyone had fun. There's not much merch left on the website. We will be doing a new job next month, but until then, if you haven't uh, bought any merch and you feel left out, go to the link in the description, go to shopmakingempire.com or howcodegear.com, buy some merch and get entered to win the S550 Wide Body Pro Charge Orange Mustang, and now, we're gonna go party.